everybody. This is Janice. Welcome to Timeless Fluid Art. I'm going to be mixing up my, um, well, let me show you first thing. First of all, when you come up with a recipe that works, write it in a notebook. Mind you, I have a ton here, and sometimes it's hard for me to figure out which ones work, but this one does, and it goes back to um, uh, August 20th. I just have to write this one down here. Um, PM, four ounces of a Jasonia and eight ounces bare. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, the first thing first is the Jasonia. So you just fill it up. I have it on a, um, just a plastic cup that I reuse it and reuse it and reuse it. I just wrote it right in there so I have my line. This one's finished and I have to open up the other one. Let me get that. Brand new bottle. I have to take my, well, let me show you how I do this too because this is so hard all the time to get off. I know you've had even mayonnaise jars where you have to take the thing off the top. Just grab one of these, find your little part right there, and go and off it goes. And this does stink. I go to my Hard to see. Okay, that is my four ounces right there. Put it away. And then I use now the Glidden Premium. It used to be bare, but they didn't have it when I went to Home Depot. So I had to buy a new product. And I did use this before and it does work. So I'm just gonna go a couple times like this, back and forth. And now I'm gonna get my <clears throat> cup, measuring cup. Cup is 250 milliliters. And I find it's better just to do a little at a time rather than, you know, and then I use this one, or I use what they give you, this one here, to open the lid. So you can see what I'm talking about. And go here, just go around. And I don't have a, I may, actually I might have one that might fit now. Or I could just pour it out of it, but I'd rather just do it this way and I know I'm getting the exact. And it is semi-gloss base three, must be tinted. So you know you don't want tint. And um, <clears throat> the reason is this is the pouring med medium for your paint. Okay, now I'm gonna go just dig right in, make sure it's a cup, move it closer. Try to get as much of this up on the outer edge. And then pour this in. And it is messy. A spout on here. I'm gonna try a spout because I do have them. All right, let me just put this here for a second. Let me see if one of my spouts will work on it. I'm not sure. Uh, 
this one has to be clean because it's I use this on another container that had white so I can't use that I don't know if I have but another one no that one might work but I'm not worried about it I don't mind doing it this way all right this I'm gonna now take one of my little pampers here and I'm going to go around here and wipe the out ed outer edge first. That's the whole thing. And then you should, by all means, be wearing a mask. But, and then just to the inside. See, now I'm not going to go and put this under water until almost all this is out. This way I'm not going to stop up my sink, and I do have a sink close by. Okay, and there you have it, nice and clean. <clears throat> and this is really amazingly clean. Okay, I'm going to get this. I'm going to go get this. Back on top, and then get my mallet. All right. Then you just take a mallet. This is what I use, and done. Then you mix it up. What I do is I really just, you know, go from bottom to top. I really try to mix it up really nicely. Now, since I'm mixing it, <clears throat> it is <sighs> causing bubbles. Therefore, when you put it in a container... All right, so... This is a really good peanut container because you know what? I can grab it so easily to pour anything anywhere. Then I'm going to take this. It certainly is stinky. Oof, that Jasonia just stinks. So very bad. Now I have it also measured for like uh, doing a double batch, which I found I don't really need it because I'm usually only doing about seven paint, seven batches at a time of paint, so I'm not worried about it. That's why I went ahead and I just do. All right, let me wipe this down. I should have ordered some more sticks, but I didn't. And now I'm going to have to have this sit for later on. Right now I can do a painting, but I'm not going to right now because I'm busy doing something else. So I'll put this in the trash. I don't worry about the, the sticks either because the little ones, I got 2,000 of them. I'll never get through with them. I haven't even made a dent. Okay, my stick is still good. And then let me wipe off the top here. And this I put PM on the magic marker. Where's my big magic marker? Okay. What do you guys do with it? Oh, I don't want to use this. Well, here we go. Hiding in plain sight. And then I'm just going to mark it PM. Not putting the date because 
that or need it really. Okay, let that off. And then I'm just gonna go down here also and wipe it down. It's a lazy little bowl or container. Okay. And I'm still in normal clothes. I didn't put any, uh, well, the only top I have on is for the paint, you know, but not for, I don't have anything else. My shorts. Yeah, I'm in shorts. It is, actually, it's kind of cool out today, to tell you the truth. Okay. Let my hands first. I normally put gloves on for this, but showing you guys, I wanted to just, you know, do it like that. Okie dokie. And this is as clean as it's going to get, because I reuse it and reuse it. And you put that away. Now, when you do the paint, you're going to take one of these little cups. I mean, that one here. I use 5.5. If you, if you look at the bottom, well, you can't really see it. But it says five and a half. I'd go about this much. I can't tell you what that is, what that amount is, because I'm not measuring. It's only about a three quarters of an inch. But it doesn't really matter because you're going to put the paint in according to how it looks. So in other words, if you put too much, you may have to add three drops. And a drop of paint is literally you take the tube and drop it. So later on I'll do one of those, um, I'll do another tutorial of how to do it with, and mix it with the paint. So I hope this helps you guys and uh, that's it, that's the PM. And you keep it, that's a sealed jar, that will not get any air in it. It remains airtight, because after all it always has food in it, you know, it's peanuts. So, later on I'll get back with you when I start to use it and show you how to mix the paint. Alright guys, thank you so much. Bye-bye.